There is nothing better than a happy dog with a wagging tail greeting you when you get home. And we want you to find that special friend. It's time for our weekly segment here on Daytime called Find a Friend, sponsored by our friend, the Basement Doctor. With his support, we hope to find great animals and all their buddies back at the Capital Area Humane Society. Nice new homes. Joining me today is Sean Powers, a senior humane agent at the Capital Area Humane Society. And joining us also, Eric Shepard from the Basement Doctor and a special friend, Higgins. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Sean, let's talk a little bit about Higgins since he's just so behaving here, <laughs> sitting like he owns the place. Yeah. <laughs> you are uh, someone who goes to homes where their dogs have been abused and neglected. He was actually brought to you, but he looks like he might have been a, n- a little neglected, too. Yes, ma'am. He was... Uh, it- he wasn't one of our case dogs, but he was brought to us. Um, he had severe matting. Um, he had a dental issues. Um, he um, went through some surgery. Now those dental issues are fixed, um, <laughs> and he's on soft food for the rest of his life. So he's looking for a happy home that can send him um, packing with some really good soft food for the rest of his life. And you know what? He's a nice little lap dog, a good size for somebody who wants a companion. Any idea how old Higgins is? Uh, Higgins is eight years old, roughly. Okay. Great. Well, he's just enjoying his time in this pilot, which cracks me up. And Eric, you're representing the basement doctor. Usually you're behind the scenes if we yes. can see you, so we welcome you here today. Thank you. And as a representative of the basement doctor, why does Ron think that it is so important to be involved with something like the Humane Society and other community projects? Well, Ron and everyone at the basement doctor believes it's very important to give back to the community. So we get involved with food drives, disaster relief, fun stuff like community parades, and we're very uh, happy to be able to partner with the Capital Area Humane Society to try to find dogs like this a uh, new good home. Yep, uh, a forever home, as we say. And also, the Basement Doctor brings you guys food because even though you are an agency that takes care of dogs that are abused and neglected, you need those funds because you're a volunteer organization. Absolutely. We are privately funded um, by the uh, citizens of Franklin County. So, um, you know, we can definitely appreciate all the help that we can get. So. Well, look, tell me about your job, Sean, because this is fascinating to me. Uh, one, I didn't know that you actually at the Humane Society did this. I thought your responsibility was just trying to find homes for dogs. You actually go into places where there's abused, neglected animals, and it's your job to then, you know, take action. Yep. Yeah, we are a um, privately funded law enforcement agency that uh, enforces uh, animal cruelty codes here in Franklin County. Um, there's a cert- certain part of the ORC that we enforce. Um, we do. Uh, we have four full-time agents, one full-time dispatcher. Um, we ran roughly about 6,500 calls last year. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. And when you f- get those calls, for the most part, are they deserved? Or do you, know, you usually find an animal that needs your help? Yeah, um, most of them go on to be um, actual uh, cases or or further investigations. Some of them are not. Um, We try to do what we can as far as uh, working with the owners um, and hopefully finding happy and forever homes for all those animals. Well, who who takes care then? Who pays for that care? Uh, we do. We, we provide the care for the animals once um, the animals come into our, our facility. That's why it's so much appreciated for the community support. Okay. And we do have some signs that folks should look for if they suspect that a dog is being abused in their neighborhood. And I know one is malnourished, like this dog was. If you can start to see some of the, you know, the bones and the ribs and the dog, um, obviously, skin conditions, mm-hmm. some of the other ones there, matted fur weakness or inability to stand. And if people see a pet like that in their neighborhood, what should they do? Um, even if you're a little suspicious of the um, what's going on out there, uh, lack of shelter, lack of water, especially now during summer, mm-hmm. um, if you feel a little suspicious about it, feel free to give us a call. Um, our number is 777-7387. We have it right there on the screen. Excellent. Great. And also I think this is interesting, too, is you are also on the lookout for child abuse as well and neglect because, as you said, these go hand in hand if you an animal is neglected many times, a child, or someone else in the home is too. Absolutely. The mentality, um, you know, if, if you're able to neglect an animal, um, it's only so far away from neglecting a person as well. So, yeah, we do see uh, certain cases that were they're hand in hand. Well, that's great that you are actually going out there and doing the job of both things. So Thanks. thank you, Sean, for being here. Eric, a pleasure to have you as always. Tell Ron we said hello. Oh, well, thank you, Gail. And hopefully we're going to find Higgins a new home. So Absolutely. thanks. <laughs> <Hope so. laughs>